Hey everyone, we're gonna take a look at some more warehouse stuff still in the series. Um, today we're actually going to look into the physical inventory journal. How do you keep physical counts uh, inside the warehouse? So uh, they're actually different depending on whether you use directed uh, put away or not and full bin or not. And in the next video, we'll look at a variation where it's not directed put away. But for this one, this is probably going to be the last one that we'll do uh, for directed put away warehouses. Um, and so physical inventory, let's take a look at the system and see how that works. Let's take a look at how we do physical inventory in the north location. So if I go here into uh, location card and take a look at the north location uh, there's a couple of things we got to do to set this up we have to declare an adjustment bin and put that in here so basically create a new bin uh, call it whatever you want i called it adj here and set it as an adjustment bin so now if i go into physical inventory uh, physical inventory journal so make sure that I'm actually writing this correctly um, where it's warehouse physical inventory journal Let's see there we go and again there's a couple of them depending on which type of warehouse you're running if in this case I have directed put away set for my north location uh, and therefore I have to do the physical inventory in the warehouse physical inventory journal so if I go here into calculate inventory uh, I have to give a warehouse document number, which it will use for all the lines. And it basically goes through all of the lines or all of the inventory uh, and creates a line for every single item uh, bin combination. And then what I can do is go in here and record my actual count. So if I go in here, for example, and I find out that the quantity on for the Enacta coffee mug in storage rack 3 it's not 205 it's actually 200 so 5 disappeared uh, but the, everything else is normal so it's going to record a negative adjustment here of 5 for this particular bin um, and, and now I can just go ahead and register this actually it created an empty line here at the top I'm not sure why that happened so I'm just gonna delete it and register it now it's registered so if I go into bin contents and take a look at how that now looks um, I can see that my quantity is now down to 200 uh, for three and if I take a look at it, I can see here quantity on adjustment bin is five. So it moves those five into an adjustment bin that could be later adjusted through the inventory journal um, and flushes out the uh, actual inventory account on GL. So it hasn't hit the GL account yet, but it's been moved into adjustment bin. So if you, for example, find it again, it can be moved out of the adjustment bin back into one of these racks or into this one.